We've got John in the Weather Center kind of walking us through uh, more about that. You were talking about how the marine layers, what we're getting down here in that smoky haze is kind of sitting right above it, huh? Yeah, but that's the way it's been the past few days is that marine layer scoots through at the surface, helps us out with the air quality, and then, yeah, especially in our inland valleys, a lot of that smoke has consistently been settling in more and more. I've been talking to people a little bit further inland who have really been noticing that smell, whereas the closer to the coast you are, you've been spared of it so far. But you can see this morning we do have a little bit of that hazy view there on the horizon. Nice sunrise taking shape and then the marine layer down below. We're going to see less and less of that coastal influence as we work through this forecast. Today is an example of that. Not as much fog and certainly not as dense. Little bit of drizzle towards the coastline, but most of us are in for a warmer day today. With this high pressure ridge building in, it's going to result in increasingly hot conditions and some sinking air across the region too. So a whole switch up in the pattern here. A lot of that smoke, the heavy of it at least has been pushed to the east, but now there's the example of it starting to diffuse into our inland areas of the bay, and more and more of it is going to settle into the Central Valley and thus pushing into the Bay Area too. So this weekend, uh, just as we've been seeing the past few days, likely expect a continuation of these air quality advisories, especially from fires burning east of Modesto, up north of Chico. Now, future cast does show a little bit of that cloud cover this morning. With that high pressure ridge, we actually do have some monsoonal moisture making its return to the region, especially tomorrow. An opportunity of thunderstorms in the Sierra Nevada. This is actually not good news for any sort of firefights going up there. The potential of dry lightning. Quick starts of fires, definitely a possibility this weekend, along with temperatures that will be increasingly warm. Here's Saturday morning during our pre-dawn hour. Slight chance of a thunderstorm in the East Bay. Something we'll be keeping a closer eye on as we do make our way to the weekend. Today's daytime highs in the 60s to 70s in San Francisco, 60s out along the coastline, a lot of 70s, 80s to 90s elsewhere. And today just a couple of degrees warmer than yesterday. Not a lot of huge changes going on here, but this gradual uptick in temperatures does continue today. Pleasanton and Livermore each at 91 and 92 degrees, while Hayward at 77, Oakland 73. Concord, you'll be at 93 degrees today, and Vacaville, our very hottest spot, at 97. Looking ahead, tomorrow's daytime highs will level out right in the low to mid-90s inland. A little bit warmer on Saturday. Next week, we stay hot for our inland areas. With those 90s continuing, Bayshore cities mostly staying in the 70s.